me Someday I would buy Gummies with good oars And sails to distant shores Stand up high in the proud Hello and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 8th, 2021. Wow, it's almost been a year since I've been doing this. Uh, letting the people know about what's going on with stimulus packages. I've been doing this since before the HEROES Act actually got introduced to the Senate and was shot down by Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, which is now the Senate Minority Leader. <laughs> Isn't that odd? <laughs> well... This will be a very big week for Congress. The House Committee will be working on their sections in the stimulus bill, and the Senate will be starting the impeachment trials of Donald Trump. The reconciliation package needs to go through a total of nine committees before it will be sent back to the Budget Committee to be combined into a single unified bill that will be ready for a vote on the House floor. Let's see here. So tomorrow will be the Education and the Labor Committee working on it. Wednesday will be the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. Thursday will be the Small Business, Veteran Affairs, Energy and Commerce Committee. And Friday will be the Oversight and Reform Committee. And then, well, sorry, the Oversight, Reform, Ways, the Ways and Means Committee from Wednesday through Friday. So basically the the um the Ways and Means Committee will be working on it from Wednesday to Friday basically, whereas the Oversight and Reforms Committee will be working on it on Friday only. And so at the end of the week, the budget committee it will go back she go back up to the budget committee to mark up the whole thing. Sorry, make up the yeah, basically make up the whole thing and put it into one bill. So finally, the Rules Committee will set up a vote on the floor, and once they hold a vote, the stimulus bill would have made it through the House, assuming that it actually passes. So it basically has to go through all these committees before it goes back to the Budget Committee, before it goes back to the House to get voted on, and we're hoping that it passes, and if it does, then it goes on to the Senate. And then we know what happened, what happened in the Senate because we know that Chuck Schumer the Senate majority lead will use reconciliation to make sure it passes. They don't know if they can pass the 59 hour minimum wage at this present time because they don't think that it has anything to do with the um, spending part of the the, um, the spending part of the um, stimulus bill, like the $400 stimulus checks does and the state and local government funding. They just don't think that the 59 hour minimum wage is going to make it through. But Biden and Bernie Sanders, if not both of them, are going to try to actually do that as a standalone bill and see what happens. And if they do, that means that the whole Senate's going to have to vote on it because they can only use recon reconciliation once per year. <clears throat> and it just lost my place. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So it looks like the Democrats are going to go on offensive to pass something on their own and try to appeal to their voters that way basically rather than going about this through the bipartisanship some key points will put pressure on republicans and these these key points are basically the fact the percentage of the people who vote who, who like the stimulus check ideas and the, the minimum wage is so basically some, some of the percentages are we have 68 percent that support a 1400 dollars stimulus check we have 61% that supports a $15 minimum wage increase. We have 68% that actually supports the whole total over cost of $1.9 trillion for the stimulus package. But the Democrats also have to go through it and realize that right now it's all about the numbers because they have to, they have to make their constituents right now, happy right now. And just because 68% right now are happy with a $1,400 stimulus check, doesn't mean that later in this year that they're going to be happy about what happened because their ratings might drop, it might rise, depending on their constituents. And that actually basically just sort of covers my whole stimulus package update for you. I am sorry it has actually been a very slow day as far as uh, stimulus goes because 
if he's now going to committees and to the Donald Trump impeachment trials. And as they go along, if I want to find out information about them, I will be more than sure to relay this information to you if you'd like it. Yeah, I'll just put it in there for the fun of it anyways. And I will keep you updated on the stimulus bills and proposals and what happens with the committees as time goes on. Until then, you guys have a wonderful night, and I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow or Wednesday. So please be safe out there, and have a wonderful night. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,